Good afternoon Hope Church. I hope you are well today. I have just taken some time out to um, walk the dog up to the field. So we are just having some quiet time here today. So I apologise if you hear him panting in the background. Um, okay, so today I wanted to talk to you about grace. As Derek was preaching on Sunday, um, it really made me think, but what is grace? Um, I know it took me a really, really long time. In fact, I'm still trying to puzzle out what grace is and what does it mean to me and how I live my life. Um, I remember being at university and just still not really fully understanding it and talking about it in um, home group with my my friends. Um, it And I just wanted to think about, is grace ever flowing? Because sometimes we feel like we fall short. So do we fall short? Does does God, what does God think when we do fall short? What is grace? And as I was thinking about this, I was thinking that grace is God's love, God's forgiveness, God's um, understanding that actually we we will fall short every day, we'll fall short, um, but He will still forgive us, and that He actually knows what we are doing with our lives, and He knows where we're going and he knows how we'll fall short but he still forgives us he still will forgive everything that we've done in the past however big that might be and to you it might seem massive but to god it won't seem as big as you as you think it is so but god will forgive but god will still love us and but for god all these things are inconsequential because all he wants from you is your love and it also made me think about service and what we can do to earn God's love and actually again we don't need to earn God's love we don't need to do anything apart from love him back and I think so often we can compare ourselves to other people and be thinking oh well I haven't read my bible today or I haven't really prayed much today and yes God wants that all from you but he's not going to love you any less if you don't do that. He will just love you no matter what. And that is his grace. That is his love and his um, care for you. And this morning I was reading Psalm 32. Um, and I'm just going to read it to you today. Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I'll confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgave me all my guilt is gone. God wants you to just say you're sorry. God wants you to just actually think about what it is that might be holding you back from accepting his love, from accepting his grace, and just admit that um, that there's things in our lives that we do need to just say, God, I'm sorry for those things that I've done wrong. And then it carries on, therefore let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in floodwaters of judgment. For you, God are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. And here is my favourite bit. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit or in a bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him. Shout for joy, all you whose hearts are pure. And today I just wanted to leave you that with that thought that the Lord says, I will guide you along the path, best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. God loves you. God's grace abounds over you. He forgives you. All he wants is your love. All he wants is for you to um, love him. And he loves you back regardless of what you do or how you live that life. His grace abounds over you. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to leave you those thoughts today with what actually is grace. Um, and um, I hope that's I hope that's helped, that his grace is his love. 
and his forgiveness. Um, so as you go into the rest of your day today and you think about amazing grace, um, maybe that's just to help a little bit. Okay, hope you have a great day, Hope. Um, bye from me and the dog. There he is. <laughs> and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.